Hello. Class here. Time lie. In the last part, we just barely started chapter four after reuniting the cat and the girl. In this part, let's make some progress in chapter four. I mean, it's a level-based game with a minimalist plot so far, so... <laughs> don't have a ton else to recap. Okay, you just pivot. I think my plan I was working on last time involved... ...marching up here with the cat. Getting this robot nice and distracted. Could have maybe ordered the girl in there. Oh, uh, could have maybe not done that. Yeah, that's what I meant. All right. Oh, wait a minute. I'm now realizing in order to actually get through here, I not only need the bridge assembled, I also need the robot to be here. Uh, which seems like quite an obstacle. All right, you just keep moving so you don't get caught there. Uh, you wait there. Uh. Okay, we have both of them in here. Although wait, the purple switch isn't being held. The girl and the cat needed to trade positions. Okay. So yeah, after the meow, dodge to here, but then we just go back to the purple switch to let the girl come over here. I should have just not waited. There we are. Uh, we should probably assemble this at some point. Uh, let's see. Meow, robot starts coming over this way when he's maybe like around here. We run off the switch, which will open that door. Run through. So yeah, once you're committed to going around that way, get you to hold the switch for us. Okay, if you want to go back around, that's fine. We're behind the divider. Huh? Oh, <laughs> I didn't advance time quite far enough to get everyone in the door. Yeah, I don't know why I shuffled around people so much when it's pretty clear we need to get the robot here, but need to get the cat in there so that it can get the robot in there. I guess I forgot the purple door existed once I got the girl through it, <laughs> which <laughs> didn't quite help me solve the puzzle to forget. I was like, okay, we've conquered that obstacle. No need to think about it anymore. Oh. Oh no! The red! And there's a robot. Uh... What's your behavior? You do turn away a couple times. Where's there? Alright, 
Can we get to these positions at all? No, you turn back way too fast. But the girl's not going to fit through the vent. So I guess we got to park her like here. And the cat's got to meow like as soon as it gets in range of the robot, which isn't there. Oops. Uh, must have accidentally clicked on the timeline slightly while I was trying to just move the camera. Can the cat? Oh, meow yeah, isn't even cooled down. The robot must see that space, right? Otherwise, it wouldn't be much of a puzzle to get past. I guess actually, though, um. He's going to take a little time to run down here. If we're here, right as the red is like here, we just win, right? Because he'll get destroyed before he catches up to us. So let's just advance time to the last possible moment. And accidentally select the cat. Why can I not? Okay. Not sure why it wasn't letting me issue a move order. <laughs> Maybe I just accidentally selected the cat twice. So, uh, yeah, if, if a robot wants to stop us, they need to be down and right from us in this room. <laughs> like that first one was. Yeah, I was thinking there's no good place to meow from. It would just put the robot in our way. Or there was, like, no time to wait for it to go all the way around there. Okay, so... That looks like it's still being eaten. <laughs> okay, there's a cube there. Don't get to observe very much of the guard's behavior because... The room's collapsing. But that guy at the end sure goes back and forth. The ones in the middle don't really go anywhere. Oh, except this one. There's a button. I assume once the button is destroyed, you can no longer open this door. Also, is this anything? I'm gonna assume it's just scenery. I can't navigate to it. So I think it's clear we've got to use a meow somewhere to get these guys away from this panel so we can ever open this door. It might be necessary to kill this guard. No other kill seems like it makes any sense. You've already made it here if you can get through this door to the cube. I mean, maybe you kill this one and somehow sneak past here? Because if you had this one out of the way, you could access that panel. Oh wait, they start moving eventually. Interesting. Well, let's just see what we can do. Hide the cat in there, start moving around with the girl, which is probably going to be the hard part. Wait, what way do you face next? You just sit there. Well, that's inconvenient. Oh, which way are you going to spin? That way, apparently. Conveniently. Okay, what happens next? 
I think this guy starts moving, and then there's a delay, and then these two start moving. Let's just... Okay, yeah. Okay, but then what from here? <laughs> I don't think I can just wait and anything good will happen. Well, let's back up a bit. Is that robot even gonna helpfully get onto that button? Oh, but that robot goes right in there. So unless this is a we don't actually need the cube situation. But I mean, let's play around with this. Oh wait, he's coming back out. Uh, maybe let's choose a different spot to wait. Oh, uh... The button got destroyed. <laughs> Let's play around more with the idea that we're not actually gonna use the cube. Oh, right as he comes there. But I think we can just wait here, can't we? Oh, are you just gonna sit there? That's pretty uncalled for. Can we pull off some master juke? I really didn't need to let the red wave catch up, did I? <laughs> uh the relic indicator. So, uh, apparently that vision cone is narrower than I've ever realized. <laughs> Even though I've made some quite narrow escapes before. That was just silly. I mean, we had the advantage of there was like a corner right there to hide behind or something. I think? I, I want to see it again. Man, these robots must not have- wait, they must have audio sensors though, they react to meows. So yeah, here just waiting because I thought I might need the red wave to destroy the robot. Achievement unlocked, unique. The only thing we ever killed is time. Or wait, that didn't spell unique. It said said unique. <laughs> I think. Ah, <laughs> uh, humans and their tendency to see actual words. hallway get longer every time? Oh. More symbols lighting up. Is one of them gonna be the one we just got? Or are these... I still haven't determined if they're unrelated from... I don't think I saw the one we just got. Are these symbols actually unrelated to the relics? be a mystery I never figure out then. <laughs> Alright, purple cube puzzle. Presumably, I don't see- oh yeah, th those are glowing glow purple. It's always the end puzzles. It always seems like there's like a swap character button here that then like disappears.
So wait, purple cube there, purple cube there. Actual bridge there that needs repaired with a blue cube. End goal here. Although, what's... Do I need to have the cat standing here to win the puzzle? It's another square spot. Okay, that button lets presumably the girl in here. Because, uh... There's a cat path here. Oh yeah, there's no way you'd get both of them in here. Because no robot can even reach over here. So you're definitely not putting a robot on that button. So yeah, girl here, cat here. That's the end goal. But first we presumably need the purple cubes. Um, which do I think is the first cube? I feel like last puzzle I could, like, tell. <laughs> uh, so it seems like... Repairing this bridge might help. I guess... Oh! Didn't expect that. Uh, I just wanted to observe the guard behavior. So I'm thinking... Get this kill. Oh wow, that wastes so much time to actually kill a robot. I wanted to then grab this... Repair this, get the cat here, get the girl back out here. But instead... After we grab this cube... Let's just come down here... And repair this. Then wait for the robot to die. You know, we don't have to kill it ourselves. <laughs> All right, so that lets us immediately run in. I'm just gonna just assume the robot's not gonna do anything. Uh, immediately run in, yeah. And we presumably want to run them both, but... Oh, the girl took a bad path. <laughs> I guess... I know the girl has to be the one that touches the blue cubes. Is it also true of the purple? Because we don't have much time here. I was hoping I could work out something with, like, a meow or something. But there's just no time. The red wave approaches. Oh, I see. Once we have this cube, after interacting with the green switch, there will be a lot more time because we save four tiles of movement. We're gonna pretend that qualifies as a lot of time, okay? Uh, what do I do about this one, though? Like, we ran down as, as fast as the girl could path. Although, what is the range on our attack? I'm just gonna work for a moment on the theory that maybe the cat can grab the thing. Oh, but it's considered a loss as soon as the girl's killed. Right, need to cancel the attack order. Need to cancel the move order. Running farther doesn't really help. It seems like the red wave moves almost as fast as us. Yeah, it's staying, like, consistently two spaces behind. Unless... 
I can't reach the robot from here, can I? No, not quite. Of course not. Imagine things being easy. Yeah, that's that's as fast as we can give the command to the cat. Or is it? <laughs> okay, it looks like we made it, but the cat just can't pick it up. Which I think was unconfirmed besides for blue cubes, like I was saying. Okay, there's clearly no solution that doesn't involve interacting with the green panel though, right? Hmm. What if, much like before, the cat waits for this to die, comes over here and meows? I mean, I don't think we have time, actually. Oh yeah, especially not if I'm trying to repair the bridge. Uh, that was a step in this plan that just we don't have time for. Okay, full reset. How does girl get here? That's the question we're trying to answer. Oh, maybe I had it backwards with the last plan. Oh... Hmm. <laughs> Just thinking, like, maybe the girl comes this way. Although, the bridge repair is going to take quite a while. Uh, where are you going, cat? I didn't, like, look at the preview. It appears that's the farthest away I can put the move command. I mean, yeah, if we wait here for the robot to die, the red wave is only two spaces behind, right? So that's not going to give us time to repair the bridge. Like, obviously from this position, if we could have repaired the bridge and still had time to run this way, the cat could have meowed and just run away a little to like here. Uh, but that's not gonna work. I'm gonna assume there's nothing silly, like the more relics you have, the slower the red wave is, and this puzzle's just unsolvable unless you have more. I think if that was the case, they would at least tell you you couldn't solve the puzzle in some way. <laughs> uh, let's see, what am I forgetting? Nothing? Am I forgetting something? I'm definitely not realizing something. Yeah, I don't... Oh... The fact that you can meow multiple times. I was about to say, I don't think I'm forgetting the fact that you can meow multiple times, but I really hadn't thought about using it. If instead of coming around here and waiting for the robot, the girl had the option to simply run this way, that would save a ton of time. Oh, a uh, cat got caught. That wasn't part of the plan. You don't have the range from there. Oh, maybe we just have to hide here? I mean, I did it too early because I was just experimenting with the cat. The Great Escape. 
I almost thought the all around thing got us. So now that we can get around this four tiles faster by taking the straight path, I think the idea I was working on originally where I send both characters through the green door might actually start to be viable. It might literally just be grab this cube because it's literally in our way, kill this bot, run through here and win. I guess if that is the case, it's going to be a lot like the previous purple cube puzzle where the real problem was actually collecting the purple cubes. Yeah, we'll, we'll try this and see how it does or doesn't work. It still does take a long time to get a kill. Oh yeah, uh, I did not regain control. Like, sure, we can send the cat through here. Hmm. All right, so what is the significance of getting an extra, like, second? I think the cat was making it to the door before the girl finished operating the panel anyway. Uh, no, actually the cat just saved about three tiles of movement. Not the full four, it was waiting at the door slightly. But maybe there is room to like, maneuver past this guy because we have a little extra time. Oh, the girl took a bad path. <laughs> hmm. No, it needs to be like done over here. Oh. <laughs> Need to actually cancel our command. Make it? Oh. Do I just need the order to be more precisely input? Well, that works. And it's done. But there was something to figure out on the last phase. <laughs> Unlike last time. Wait a minute, this world was short. <laughs> like, thinking back, world three was like three videos. This was basically one video, except we did the first puzzle last time. Alright, the feather of time. Oh, nice of the bread to just leave. <laughs> Maybe collecting these is stabilizing the area. Achievement unlocked. Freedom.
since there been a down arrow on her dress there. Also, the cat. Uh, chapter five. <laughs> it was glowing and levitating. Do we have a flying cat now? Uh, we've been teleported. They clearly just materialized here. Cat's still glowing. It's a ghost. Showing us that it can evade sight, walk through doors, walk over collapsed bridges. Oh. Also showing us that we don't have it available, this puzzle. Oh, wait. What? Oh. I didn't recognize this was the start of chapter four. I like that they have this one time use thing so that you can actually like maybe remember which puzzle this is even if you don't remember the layout. <laughs> so what did I do before? Man, what a mess of everything. Although, with access to this girl, there's a timing where we can lock two bots away in that area. Just need to make use of the meow that happened in order to... get past somehow. I imagine the puzzle gets failed if I mess with the past in a way that gets them caught. Alright, we're past half an hour, but I've looked at this puzzle long enough that I want to try it. Alright, so what if I just lock that now? Which will totally screw up the previous solution. Wait a minute, everything still worked? Uh, I guess I never walked through that door again and the timing wasn't so precise on that guard's movement that I got caught as a result of closing the door early. Well, closing the door at all. Still, I would like to cancel this order and put bots in jail. Because it'll be more convenient for me now Ah, oh, missed my timing. Just do it a little earlier. Uh, missed my timing. Just do it a little later. Okay, maybe when you're like one tile before entering the room. Okay, now you're in jail. Now I need the past girl to actually fix the bridge. Oh, that's fixed. Convenient. Wait a minute, I'm standing too close, aren't I? Yeah, I'm standing too close, because he moves forward first. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized there are vision cones attached to the past characters. I can't get seen by the past. Yeah. But also I realized I can probably just wait in this little side area and they gave me an extra cube for destroying bots. Do, 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 do. <laughs> ah, but there's a relic. I might have to replay the old level if I want to mess with their pathways so that I don't have to destroy a bot in this one or something. I'm gonna watch the relic indicator to see if it is the moment I destroyed the bot, though. But again, I wanna finish the main game before I go back for relics. So this is the second puzzle that replays an old puzzle, but this time it's a little more meaningful. Last time it was just the timing of when a door opens. This time it's like, 
It's important when that bot moves, when the bridge is repaired, the actual movement of my past is important. Because it has a vision cone attached. So if I were replaying the old puzzle, I think all I'd change is after distracting that guard, I wouldn't quite take the movement to run up as soon as I could. Oh, I actually forgot to watch the relic indicator. I was so busy watching the actual solution. I'll just check it in the video though. I... So the cat I'm chasing is making extra doors. But anyway, we're now at 35 minutes. This is the girl I have command of. I wasn't actually sure. It looks so easy. But uh, yeah. In the next part, the continuation of chapter five. See ya.